you're watching this, I'm, I'm just an AMP. You don't know what that means, but it just means something. You watch it, but watch it with video, they say. Born. Uh, we're here in New York City. I'm not gonna disclaim where because <laughs> that's gonna give out too much information. Just know that we're doing work. We're close to a fair happening close by. That's fun. Shooting a video for Joshin's channel. You know, we just interacted with some two strangers that were graciously willing to help us out, which is always a good thing. Anyway, so we're here shooting, and you know, it's just a nice day outside. The weather and such. Joshin's here, he's trying to get everything together. For the next shot, I'm shooting a scene about uh, misfortune videographers. <laughs> I don't want to use the term sad because I don't like being sad. So, misfortune, here's the key. Uh, yeah, misfortune videographers that, that, you know, are used for free projects and free content making and this time we take a stand and say no more we will not do things for free actually we don't take a stand at all oh no stand in this video nah. well that's our stand <laughs> but in the video it's just going to show us being mistreated not really meant to be funny or comedic just you know supposed to portray a message got my uh jerry levine shirt funny enough appreciate me before i die r.i.p well i don't want to say die but R.I.P. Appreciate me before I R.I.P. Uh, you can interpret that as you want. The strangers that we asked to help with our video, they actually recognized the guy in the shirt. And they're like, oh, yo, that's, that's that dude Jello V, man. He man funny. Help me watch his videos. And it's like, oh, funny, funny enough, because I make videos too, and I'm selling t-shirts. And they didn't really seem that, that enthused when I said I'm selling my t-shirts. Uh, I actually ordered my t-shirt. Uh, Today, so it should be coming in a couple of days. So you guys will be seeing some footage slash pictures of me and that. The thing I was talking about AMP earlier, uh, Justin informed me that uh, I was talking about my channel being monetized, and his recently got monetized too. Yo, congratulations! <laughs> oh, <Should we? laughs> now I would say we get in body, but we are technically not, <laughs> and I'll explain why. Because AMP stands for All Monetization Partners, uh, based on a term made in the. YouTube partner forums and it's not a like coin term but it it's basically means that you know our channels have been accepted for monetization through ads but we don't really get ad revenue it's more like pay per click type of stuff so in other words you know YouTube is gracious to put ads on our videos and whoever clicks it that's when we get the money um, yep. I like to call it junior partners because it sounds hot you know, we're junior partners, <laughs> and it makes us, makes me feel better, <laughs> you know, oh, yeah, it makes me feel good, like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm a junior partner. Yeah, I feel, I mean, oh. that's what really sets a partner apart from a normal tuber, the fact that they make content, and they have the ability to monetize on such content. Now, all the extra good stuff, like the branding, the, the pre-roll ads, the nice... I guess that's part of the branding, but I just want that goddamn banner at the top of my channel. We are all looking for the banner. Banner is uh, where the money's at. Girl. For the most part, you know, it feels good. It's a nice feeling, especially after looking at um, Philip Franco's vlog about him growing up on YouTube. Which sounds crazy because it's like YouTube has only been out for, what, six years? That's kind of like you've grown up on YouTube. Like we were all around when it started. You know, it's kind of like. Shit, it's been six years already, and someone's already talking about oh five. Did it start in two thousand five or six? Uh, well, he's been on YouTube for five years. Oh well, Phil's been on YouTube for five, but YouTube started Let's go. in two thousand five. But anyway, <laughs> speaking of, of the fair, this is what's happening here. Oh, look at that! Wow, that's that's big. <laughs> yeah, that's extreme. Look at the cops. They have blow up things, there's people camping. They got a Go Army tent, which seems appropriate for a children based uh, festival. While shooting my latest video, I was approached by a very nice woman who was curious as to what I was doing. She, <laughs> 
she inquired about my business, the business of being Joshua Born. And she wanted me to speak to some young people in her district about my field of choice, my freelance field of choice, that uh, videography. She's invited me to speak at an event, to give a keynote speech about, the, about my career, about what I do. She wants me to show some of my videos, show my work to the community. It's, it's big because, you know, you're out working and obviously the people around you recognize that you're doing something big. So yeah, I hope to get some footage of my big speech. Oh, oh, at the podium. Kind of like someone we we know who spoke at VidCon, Philip DeFranco. I'm not going to compare myself to Philip DeFranco. Apples and oranges, really. But Boy, <laughs> apples and freaking seeds. Hey guys, it's much later in the night. And I usually don't like any of my vlogs without, of course, actually fading out. So, uh, finished the shoot. All in all, a good day. I learned that, you know, it's good to walk around and, you know, just get exposure for what you're doing and talk to people, reach out, do things. And in return, you'll get a good buzz. So, this is a wrap for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Fade out.